I'm Dimitri Maway. I'm an associate professor of astronomy at Caltech and a senior research scientist at JPL. I develop technologies to image and characterize extrasolar planets. And I carry out surveys to look for these planets and, uh, and try to understand their atmospheres better. My ultimate goal is to image and characterize Earth-like planets around solar-type stars. It's one of the most difficult subjects in observational astronomy. And so we need to, to push the technologies forward constantly to uh, open new windows on the universe. Right after I arrived at Caltech, I was invited to a study on laser frequency comms. We hope to use that technology very soon at Palomar and the Keck telescope that will actually find uh, exoplanets around low mass stars. So that was my very first KISS workshop. In the format really took me by surprise. <laughs> I've grown tired of these large conferences. I much prefer these small formats, interactive conferences. I think we get much more accomplished where we actually get to do something new uh, as opposed to just presenting passively work that has been done already. Maybe it's the first time in two years that I didn't look at my emails during the work day, so I could really focus on the content of the workshop. You only have one thing to do, which is to think. <laughs> and the whole process of being here with people from applied physics was extremely challenging and but refreshing and stimulating for me. That part of KISS is, is for me uh, the key to, to the success of this center is to bring people from different backgrounds, different horizons, different specialties and, and see what they come up with. A year ago, uh, we met with colleagues at JPL and at UCLA uh, to think about uh, what we could use KISS for and we had a, a very good subject to improve the technologies to image and characterize extrasolar planets as opposed to just discovering them. So that's the second, my second KISS workshop and that one I was leading. And now we are working on drafting the blueprints of the next instrument that would uh, solve one of the fundamental questions in astronomy, which is uh, the uh, origin of life on Earth and whether or not there is life in the universe. I, I'm inspired by the KISS format because I think it's really needed to trigger new ideas and stimulate research.